Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, when you come through your door, does it look like this? Um, during the winter especially, we end up with uh, snow boots and shoes and dress shoes, all kinds of things that end up in front of our door here. And I tried to pick up a couple of these shoe holders that kind of keep the at least wetness off of the ground, hopefully. But uh, nobody seems to hit them very often. Uh, they always end up coming clear out onto the floor out here. So in an effort to organize this, uh, we went to Ikea here a couple weeks ago and bought something. And I'll show that to you. And this is what I'm hoping will contain them. This is a uh, IKEA shoe holder here. I don't know exactly the exact name of it, but basically you throw your shoes in there like that. I had a couple of big boots up in there that I'm wearing. Um, so far we haven't completely filled them up, but we have a lot more shoes to go. I got another pair of boots over here. But anyway, so we need to contain those. So that's why there's one there. I'm going to put another one here. Now, this is what I was going to show you here. We got a 2x4 right here, and actually, I got another board behind that. I think it's three quarters. I don't know. Uh, you won't be able to see this, but you may have to do something like this if you're like me, where this is going to kind of come over just a little bit. And this windowsill for this old house is pretty big so I tried to bump I had to bump it out past that by a little bit um, also if you have big moldings or any kind of moldings you're gonna need to bump it out a little bit now I put this right at I believe it's 32 inches which is where that back a screw piece there, there. And screw there it does actually have holes to screw into it did not supply screws and it says to use pan head screws. There's another one like that down on the bottom, but I did not use that. So for right. my purposes of having larger moldings and the molding amount around this the window, this is how it comes in this one box snack. here. As you can see, I got a few more boxes. Keep an eye out for those videos. Uh, hopefully coming fairly soon. Anyway, um, but we're going to start out with this one I have on the top here, and we'll open that up and pull the pieces out. And there it is all packaged up. Now, you're going to want to find the side. One side kind of peels up. It was kind of the last box I had all torn up, but I figured out towards the end of that that you can take and put your fingers under here and peel this out, and it peels up on each side here. Um, and it opens up like that. Now, you're going to want to lay this and flat. And when you get open. it all said and done, you should have two side pieces that are tall. One small piece, I believe this is the top. Three uh, middle sized ones that are kind of your drawers, the front of your drawers actually. Some smaller ones that hold up the back side of this thing. And three of each of these whites, all three different sizes. Your instruction booklet and a box full of hardware and the pieces that kind of hold your drawers together you'll see how you can open the in. box and actually separate all these parts and pieces and you want to count these uh, before you start going because in at least in the last one you needed every single one of these they didn't have one extra screw or nothing so uh, you got to be careful another thing on these ones here there are two different sizes so you got to be careful you don't mix those up because they look kind of similar but one's shorter and one's bigger um, so don't mess those ones up make sure you're getting the right ones in the right hole so what I'm going to grab here is the bottom it's the only one that's this size and you're going to put these in here and you're just going to need your Phillips screw I would suggest doing this by hand just for the simple reason these things tend to strip out fairly easy uh, from past experiences from working on all this kind of type of furniture any of this kind of stuff I've ever had and you don't want to crank them just crank them down until they stop you don't want to over tighten them either or you'll blow them out they pretty much self-center you might I mean you have to be careful you don't completely them but for the most part they'll 
they'll go in pretty straight. Well, now we got the other side, one of the side pieces here. Now you want to orient yourself. I'm just going to flip this around so you can see it. So that the cutout here, uh, kind of figure out from this cutout where you want to put your parts and pieces. Um, that little cutout is something I just kind of noticed. That it's actually they, for the back part there. Um, so if you did want to put this right up against a wall, most moldings, my big ones in this house wouldn't work, but most uh, newer houses especially, they got smaller moldings and that would actually go over that and you can put it flush against the walls. Kind of neat that they think about those kind of things. But now we're going to go ahead and take the rest of these. So here's the cutout. You got one here, one here, and one here. And I'm going to go ahead and screw those in. Alright, and I'm going to do that on the other one. Exactly the same other side. Now we got one of the sides down here. Now we got the cutout on this side over here. This is the cutout side over here. On the opposite side of the cutout side, you got these. Right here. These little doohickeys here. And one side of them has kind of like a, a tooth, for lack of a better way of putting it. I'm going to drop it. Kind of a a tooth right there and then one side's uh, nice and flat and slippery so you want to take so you're going to want to take the tooth side and there's a hole a bigger hole and a smaller hole you want the big that the tooth side and the bigger hole make sure the smaller hole is where the hole is for this so this is where you're going to take your smaller ones of these kind of fat screws that they give you it's the smaller ones and those are going to go in each one of these to hold them in. All right, we're going to do that to the other side as well. Now this is where these come in, little dowels here, and you're going to want to take in each place where there's one of these, you're going to want to stick and then it down. Take thing, same on the bottom here. Be careful. You're gonna, those are going to go into each one of these as well. So here's where these smaller pieces come in at. And you got two with the big holes and little holes and then there's just two little holes in the front here but they just go all the way through but, so the ones that have the big holes and little holes and then you're going to have one that just has these big holes here the two with the big hole with the big hole and little hole are going to go on the side with the cutout um, on the that's the back part of the side uh, and it's the part where the cutout is. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you're going to want to stick that. One of these holes goes on a dowel and one goes on the metal pin. The metal pin is where uh, this bigger hole, you want that side towards the metal pin. And we are going to go ahead and just stick those on. You want to make sure that this is facing towards the back so that you got the nice finished face on the front here. And that shoves on the dowel and the pin there. And this is where these little plastic clips come in at right here. And I'm going to have to get a flat screwdriver for that. Um, those go in these little holes and you got to make sure that you got them the right way so that they actually push all the way in. And I'll show you up close. So there's the front of it there. Here's the back of it. And one side is solid on the top here and then there's a, an open area that's where you want to push it in so the pin goes in there and then when you twist it this just captures the pin in this groove right here then we got our flathead screwdriver you're going to take that and it'll turn one way or the other um, and just turn it till it stops once again do not crank down on it um, if it's not going one way then it'll go the other way Let's see here. I wonder if it will go. It does seem to go either way, but I think actually you need to go to the. The right. instructions are showing you to put your dowels in here. I already put them in the other side. I think that's a better way of going. And normally you'd be doing this on the floor, but uh, luckily I have a very large countertop here that I'm doing this on. I probably should have put the cardboard on that but I was planning on doing it on the floor but this seems to be working all right so now we got the two in the front and one in the back you find the two 
make sure the cutouts are going the same direction and then you're going to take this and carefully just put these in their perspective spots and it should and in there now you're going to want to hold that on because you're kind of like a three-legged dog here and then we'll put one of these in let's see and go face up here and I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down and that'll hold that in there and yet again this is where I'm going to differ from what it says in the instructions and I really don't know why they say to do this in the instructions now I got it laying on its back here in the instructions it says to tip this up and then drop it on top of this bottom plate here um, which is ridiculous if you tip it on its back you can easily put this in just like this without lifting anything yet again up there there will be holes where your little screw things go into up inside here there's four of those oh here it is this actually shows it even more so that was just tipping it up this is actually telling you to drop it on top of there and this is where these and the bigger of your fat screws come into play you got a left and you got a right the front of the drawer is right here now there's two holes here one hole here and same here two holes here one hole here so we're going to take the left and you, need, you want all this stuff you'll, you'll notice there's one side's kind of flat and then the other side has little notches and things in it and it actually has the writing for left and right right here in the center you want that facing inside the drawer so we'll take our screws my screwdriver in and I'm just starting out up here on the top I wouldn't screw it down so it's tight yet you still want to be able to move these around a little bit to get them in their perspective holes then you take your other side stick that on there do the same thing I don't think you need to watch me do that to all these so when I'm done doing this I will come back now we got these step. all put together it's time to put the shelves together now you're gonna take I believe it's yeah the bigger of the three white shelving pieces that come with it and they all have these kind of numbers on them you want that at the bottom so it's not noticeable and this seems like a little bit counterintuitive but you do slide this kind of down in here being somewhat careful not to bend them too far but they do flex quite a bit and that just sits down in there so we got the just biggest like that. one on the bottom and you're going to take the smaller yep the smaller of these ones on all three of them yet again you have the numbers marked that I put towards the bottom and towards the inside of the shelf uh, so you don't see that and that's gonna go up in this top part now yet again this is somewhere where I'm kind of differing from what the instructions say to do because in the instructions, instructions as you putting in these little screws here um, the small screws that come in the kit but if you do that it makes it a little bit harder to get this piece in so um, I've held off on that um, only thing is is this may kind of fall around on you but I'm gonna stick this kind of up against the edge here and they don't seem to have like pre-drilled holes so these are kind of a pain to get in you got to kind of hold it hold it on one side and just give it a good push and then if you can lean it up against the side of the thing there you can get them to go in but you, you got to make sure you get them fairly close to the middle so that this goes in there flush and yet again you're going into particle board so be somewhat careful I don't know if I said it but the smaller screwdriver tends to work better for these all right and that gives you the drawer you gotta do that 
on the other two. Yet again, you don't Hopefully need to you watch. can see all this. Now we flip this around so that the back side is up now. Alright, and it is time to start putting start these with in. The top. So these are all the same, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. If that sticks down in there, or it should. It lays down flat. You want to make sure that you're underneath, I don't know if you can see, but those plastic uh, pieces, they're stoppers. And you want to make sure that the door goes underneath that. And then you can see right here, there's a little hole. And that's where you take this piece here. And that goes through the hole this way. Then you take another one of your fatter screws, these fat screws, Blades are almost there. harder to find but, than good help. All right, I think we got you so you're in what, pretty well set up. We've got the carcass face down here. We got the drawer in underneath. This part goes underneath this. And if you look right here and right there at the end of the screwdriver, there's a hole. Now there's that hole that I showed you that this piece needs to go into in the screw that one and this is probably one of the hardest parts to this is finding that hole and getting it all lined up and in there okay there so now you just gotta lift it till that you'll feel that screw kind of fall in the hole and you just gotta put her on in there now you gotta be careful you don't want to over tighten it because this has to pivot on here so just get it snug you got the same thing on the other side all the way down. I almost forgot this, but you got these here. And uh, they just got like a nail on the bottom of them. They look like kind of like old tacks. And you're going to put one of those. And here you go. Them. Now I haven't actually put this in yet. You want to make sure, like I did on this one, to put a level up here. And actually this one I'm just going to put right against this one. And put it right up against it. And then you're going to open your middle drawer. You're going to go in with these screws here. And they don't come with the kit, but I found they say you use pan head screws. And I found these ones pretty good sized, got a good sized head on them. And then you're going to go down through there and screw it on in. After you get it all leveled out. And then out, you have your last pieces here, and there's some more white ones here. And there's actually three spots. And again, they have the weird thing, the writing on them. So actually I make sure those are this way because you tend to see more of the top part than you do underneath here. So there's three spots. You got that size, whoop. And if it'll go in there, and then the kind of the opposite of the first one, like that. So you can make bigger shelves and smaller shelves. Uh, I started out in the middle here, and you got to figure out for yourself, obviously, what your shoes do. Um, but all said and done, they also it comes with screws you can put in the sides of those. Um, I've chosen not to do that. That way, I can move them wherever well, I want to be. But there it is in all its glory. Uh, not a whole lot of light here, so. Hopefully you can see it. A um, couple things. Well, first of all, I have these. They are now empty. One behind there is empty as well. Um, but I am keeping them because uh, I don't think these are super waterproof. So I wouldn't want to put any really wet shoes in there, let alone muddy and mucky shoes. will just, you know, make a mess. So uh, I still left this here so we can dry out our shoes. But otherwise we have our shoes put away. Now I did actually wind up screwing these together um, kind of like cabinetry because there was kind of a gap in here no matter what I did so I went ahead and screwed it all together. You can choose to do that or not. And there it is all open, shoes all over in it. Um, none of us have huge feet in this house. Uh, the largest size is size 10 up there which are my boots. And they fit in there okay. Anything much bigger, I don't think you would get in there. Um, not and have that many. You'd have to definitely turn them sideways and probably remove the middle Here shelf. Off a little bit closer. This is the most empty one. But you could pull this shelf out. Now these shelves can be screwed in, like I said before. 
Um, but I have found that it's kind of nice to be able to move them around. So I just left them on without the screws and they seem fine. Um, but like, here's mine right here. And like I said, I think these are like a nine and a half and they're a fairly short boot. And these are tens and a fairly tall boot. So putting that up in there, as you can see, it actually hits that little tab right there. And you can see them through the little hole there. Um, so I still think, you know, you might be able to get a little bigger boot in there if it was shorter. Uh, but definitely if you had this, you'd probably have to turn them sideways and see with these sideways, I'd have to remove this uh, middle shelf. So if you got huge feet, um, then this might not be for you or you'd have to be able to take the shelf out and put, you know, one pair of shoes in each one. Um, there's three in each one. Uh, I bought two of them because I knew we have five people who are putting and shoes in there. And one last look with so. it all open. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Will it last forever? Uh, only time will tell. And I definitely would say no to forever. Um, it is just a particle board plastic with kind of a, a plasticky cover on all the, the, the particle board. So. Um, you know, I don't know how long this will last. Definitely if you get it real wet, I don't think it would last very long. So we'll see. Um, if I have any problems with it down the road, you'll know about it. And I'll make a video on it. Uh, and I'll probably do an update, update video next year sometime if it's still around. Alright, this is Sam. Jack of all, master of none. You all have a good one.